When talking about modern fighter jets, two of the most iconic names come up, the F-35 Lightning II and the Dassault Rafale. These two jets are among the most advanced aircraft in the world, each one showcasing the peak of what their countries can do in aviation. But despite both being top tier, they're designed for different kinds of missions. So, what's the difference between these two powerhouses? In this video, we're breaking it all down, looking at how they're built, what they're capable of, and how they compare in key areas like speed, agility, firepower, and overall mission flexibility. Stick around to find out which one comes out on top in this detailed comparison. Let's start with the avionics and sensors of each jet. The F-35 is equipped with the latest technology, offering unparalleled situational awareness. The aircraft's distributed aperture system provides a 360-degree view around the jet, detecting and tracking both air and ground threats in real time. This system, combined with the ANAPG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, gives the F-35 advanced long-range targeting and tracking capabilities. The F-35's sensor fusion technology integrates data from multiple sources, including other aircraft, to give pilots a comprehensive picture of the battlefield. The F-35 also boasts an advanced helmet-mounted display system, allowing pilots to see critical flight data and sensor information directly in their line of sight. The Rafale's Thales RBE-2 ESA radar offers similar multi-target tracking and long-range detection capabilities, but the aircraft lacks the level of sensor fusion found in the F-35. However, the Rafale compensates with its Spectra Electronic Warfare System, which provides advanced self-defense capabilities against radar-guided threats, enhancing its survivability in contested environments. The Rafale's helmet-mounted display also delivers essential information to pilots, but it is not as integrated as the F-35 system. Where the F-35 truly stands out is in its stealth capabilities. It was built with radar-absorbing materials and a design that makes it harder to detect by enemy radar. Its radar cross-section is incredibly small, about the size of a golf ball, making it difficult for enemies to spot. The Rafale isn't a stealth fighter per se, but it does have a reduced radar signature thanks to its compact design and use of composite materials. It's stealthier than most, but not at the level of the F-35. When it comes to agility, the Rafale tends to get the edge. With its aerodynamic design, including canard wings, it's known for being highly maneuverable, especially in close quarters combat. The F-35, while initially criticized for its handling, has improved over the years. Thanks to updates in pilot training and aircraft configuration, it now performs better at low speeds and tight turns. Still, the Rafale is generally seen as the more nimble jet in dogfights. Now, talking about speed and range, the F-35 jet can reach a top speed of about 1,227 miles per hour, which is around 1.6 Mach. Its combat radius is about 870 miles, allowing it to stay in action for a considerable time without needing to refuel. That means it can cover a lot of ground during missions, whether it's conducting air-to-air -air engagements or ground strikes. The Rafale, on the other hand, can fly a bit faster, hitting speeds of up to 1,381 miles per hour. That extra speed can be crucial during combat scenarios, where quick responses are key. In terms of range, the Rafale has a combat radius of about 1,150 miles, giving it a bit more reach than the F-35. This extended range is especially useful for missions that require traveling greater distances 
or operating in areas farther from home bases. So, while the F-35 offers modern capabilities and versatility, the Rafale brings slightly better speed and range into the mix. Both jets are formidable in their own right, but their performance characteristics cater to different operational needs. Both the F-35 and Rafale are heavily armed and designed to carry a variety of weapons, but their approaches reflect their unique design priorities. The F-35 primarily carries its weapons in internal bays to maintain a low radar signature. It can carry up to eight tons of munitions across its six external hardpoints and internal bays, including advanced air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM and air-to-ground munitions, such as GBU-31 JDAM bombs. In non-stealth missions, it can also utilize external hardpoints for additional weapons, enhancing its overall payload capacity. On the other hand, the Rafale is engineered for flexibility and multi-role operations. With a payload capacity exceeding 9 tons, it can carry a larger variety of munitions on its 14 hardpoints, which affects its radar signature, but significantly enhances its mission versatility. The Rafale can be equipped with Mika air-to-air -air missiles, scalp cruise missiles, Exocet anti-ship missiles, and even nuclear-capable ASMPA missiles. This larger payload capacity gives the Rafale an edge in missions that require substantial ordnance, such as deep strike operations, making it a formidable option for diverse combat scenarios. When it comes to international sales, the F-35 has a strong presence in wealthier countries like Belgium, Switzerland, and Finland, thanks to its advanced technology and stealth features. Many Western nations aim to align their air forces with NATO standards, making the F-35 a suitable choice for this purpose. On the other hand, the Rafale has established itself in developing countries and regions where the U.S. imposes restrictions on F-35 sales. For instance, the United Arab Emirates chose the Rafale after encountering political conditions tied to the F-35. Surprisingly, even though the F-35 is a more advanced fifth-generation fighter, it isn't always pricier than the Rafale. With its larger production run, the F-35 has a unit price around $140 million. Meanwhile, the Rafale can cost about $245 million per airframe, often bundled with extra services and weapons. So, which jet is better? Both jets are formidable in their own right, and it's hard to say which is definitively better. Each aircraft brings unique strengths to the battlefield, making them valuable assets in different combat scenarios. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.